This video trick that I want to share with you is pretty cool and it's happening as you're watching this right now. And as you're watching this, some people might be saying to themselves, wow, Brad's got two cameras on the go. Uh, because, you know, right now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in, in full frame and now I'm zoomed in. And so when you see me zoomed in, a lot of the time you'll assume that I'm actually using two cameras. And this is a trick that um, a lot of people will play if they've got some good equipment and they've got a, a good camera. We're shooting with a 1080p camera. So uh, I'm going to explain this and I'm actually going to explain it using image editing software because it's a lot easier than showing you how it's done in video editing software. So uh, depending on what you use, we use Final Cut Pro on our Macs here to do our video editing. You might be using Sony Vegas or some other software. So even if I showed you how we did it in the video software, it wouldn't really illustrate the point. So what we're actually doing when we do these in out uh, multiple, what look like multiple camera angle shots is we're actually using the exact same video track twice. So this video is shot in 1080p. And if you don't understand the, different, the, the difference in the two different HD settings, I'm going to give you a quick lesson. 1080p is actually the number of pixels in height that the video is being recorded. So in this case, if you were to look at it in pixel dimensions, this video was, that I'm recording right now is originally being recorded in a 1920 pixels wide, wide by 1080 high. And 1080 is the measurement that we use when we're talking about HD. Now, what happens is there's, there's two different types of HD. There's 1080p and there's 720p. And there's 1080i as well. We won't get into that. But uh, 1080p and 720p are uh, pretty much the two acceptable formats of HD. And up until just a little while ago, YouTube only accepted 720p videos. They wouldn't show 1080p. So what we do is we take all of these videos that are 1080p, 1920 wide by 1080 high, and we shrink them down to 720p, which is 1280 wide, 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. There's a reason why we do that. Mainly because you're probably watching this video in half that resolution. You're probably watching this in like 640 pixels wide maybe on my blog or uh, if you're watching it in YouTube you might, or watching it on YouTube, you might be watching it in like 450 pixels wide or if you're on Twitter, you might be seeing it in 320 pixels wide. So 1280 is already overkill. 10, uh, 1920 is ridiculously overkill. So uh, I'm going to jump onto my screen here and I'm going to illustrate to you how we do this using the same video track. So I'm using image editing software here because uh, it's the easiest way to illustrate this. But this is, as you can see down here in the corner, this is 1920 by 1080. This is just a JPEG uh, uh, image still that I've taken off of a video. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick image resize. And you can see here where it says 1920 by 1080. And if I tab to where it says 1080 and I just change that 1080 to 720, you can see that it automatically changes the width to 1280 pixels for me. So I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that all we've done is shrink this video down to a 1280 by 720 format, which is just a little bit easier for your video editors to manage. And uh, it's a little bit of a smaller file size, a little bit faster to upload to YouTube. So what we would do is let's assume this, what, this image was our first uh, copy of the video stream. We've now compressed it to 1280 by 720 using some kind of video compression software or our, our um, video editing software. And then here's the second copy of the exact same piece of video, but instead of Re, uh, resizing this, I want to do something different. And most video editing applications will allow, or most video compression applications will allow for something called a crop. And so how the crop works is, instead of, instead of uh, resizing the entire video, you can now take a 1280 by 720, and I'm just going to make this 1280 by 720 so we can see exactly the size we have to work with here. Uh, you can make this 1280 by 720, and there it is. Tw there's a 1280 by 720 crop. Now, you can even, now depending on how sophisticated your video, your video editor is, this can be moved around, this can be made a different, uh, you know, put in a different space. Or di but in this case, we're just going to put it right up in the corner where we want it. Uh, and I'm just going to hit return. And you can see now that I actually have two images here in my image editing software. One is a close up of me, and the other is the far away shot of me. And they're both using the exact same video. And we didn't do anything crazy like try and enlarge pixels or do anything that's going to make me look bad. What we did was we just cropped in on one uh, shot and resized the whole thing in another shot. And then what will happen is uh, the video editor will take those and put them in as multiple camera angles in uh, their video editing software so that they can switch between the zoom mode, which we're in now, and the wide mode, which we're in now. So that is a really cool way to kind of trick people into thinking you're using multiple cameras in your video shoots. 